on YouTube. Well, today I'm doing something new. I'm gonna go buy a trailer. It's a used trailer, 1974. It's a boat trailer. I don't own a boat. I'm gonna convert it into a utility trailer so I can carry my mower and small metal things, you know, to and from. I don't have a utility trailer. And the girlfriend said, well, why don't you just go to Tractor Supply and buy one? This would be much more exciting. So I'm gonna shorten the tongue and put fenders on it, make it a flatbed, throw a gate in there, probably all from material that I've already got. So this will be kind of fun. I'll probably make a several part series going through it, but let's go get it. So this trailer is so low and it's only got this one little piece on the side so you can see it. It's hard to see this trailer. It's not like backing up a gooseneck. So I had to wiggle a little bit. It took me a try. I could have done a better job and squared it up, gotten it right back here, but I think I'll leave it right there because there's a lot to do. So first thing I noticed is that the ground is pretty short. It's so short, obviously I'm pulled away a little bit, but you can see I'm a couple inches off, several inches off from that because of how short the ground is. Not a big deal. The rest of this is long enough, but I found out I've got a short in my four pin and my seven pin, so I've got to fix that anyway. This, which ordinarily would have a probably a rubber grommet or a gasket or fixture or something right there. This whole thing's coming off. This tongue is way too long. I think I'm gonna shorten the tongue to about here. Cut that off and bring it all the way back to here. I might even just buy a whole new trailer hitch for it. I don't know. Obviously the rollers got to go and the wood with carpet on it. That's got to go. I'm going to take this thing off. I'll use something better. It's got a little bit of damage. It's a 1974. So it's got a little bit of rust. So obviously I got to chop that out. Everything else seems to be in decent shape. So <clears throat> let's get into this thing. Oh. Now the carriage bolt up here is spinning too. It's on there. All right, so the handheld ratchet idea didn't work at all so instead I'm gonna try to impact see if that does anything at all on this first one anyway No luck. The whole thing just spins, so I'm not gonna be able to get these bolts off at all. They're rusted completely on. No movement. The wood's so pretty much rotten, it looks like. I'm gonna have to try something different.
Well, this does work. Slow, but it works. So, this was my dad's, Harbor Freight. He died at 57, that was about 12 years ago. And uh, 10 or 12, something like that. He, whenever he was in his 20s, maybe early 30s too, he was a mechanic. Always had snap-on tools, which I still use to this day. Mac, Mac code didn't exist yet, but Mac and snap-on were the two big ones. He spent, who knows how much money in the 80s on stuff like that so before he died a few years before he died he started buying everything hover freight this sawzall has been in my shop unused for about 10 years on this blade cuts through this wood pretty good i'm pretty happy with that if it dies tomorrow i don't care it's hover freight i'll spend $12 on another one, $15, whatever they cost, 40 bucks these days. I never use them. I never do any woodwork. This is the first woodwork I've done in I don't know how long. But it's working. Then all I gotta do is figure out how to get these last little parts off. And then we'll solve the other half. Here we go. That 12 year old blade got dull there at the end, but it worked. So I don't make videos often, but so far I've had barking dogs and now I've got a cicada in the tree right above me doing that nonstop. I go months without making a video and then I try to do something with this trailer and it's just constant noise. So I'll probably have to overdub this, I don't know, but I got most of the wood cleaned up, but I still have those pieces on those pieces of angle iron out here. So I decided to get my tiny, just a big screwdriver and see if I can bust up the wood so that I can access the angle iron underneath and just cut that off. So here's my uh, attempt at that. This cicada is gonna go forever. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. So it's about six o'clock, but I finally got all the wood off. Uh, let me show you the progress and uh, we'll go as far as we can before it gets too dark and then we'll continue later. But after I started stopped filming that cicada moved on and now there's a dog barking, go figure. All right, so I cleaned everything up. I got all the wood and green fake carpet removed so you can kind of see these are all basically pieces of angle iron which are they're bolted in but as i learned earlier the bolts are rusted there's no there's no unbolting them so i have a new plan and i'm going to use cutoff wheel and i'm going to cut these off and i'm probably even i don't know what these are called but the bottom of the boat runs up I'm gonna cut those off too because there's they're bolted in all rusty I'm not gonna even bother bringing the impact out I'm gonna cut all those out if I have time I'll do it tonight so let's get to it okay here we go let's cut some steel by the way when you're using one of these don't wear shorts like I'm doing because if this thing explodes, it's going to hurt. But it is what it is.
That's quarter inch thick. Wow. So this next one, there's a tire next to it. And I don't want flames, flames. I don't want sparks hitting that tire while I cut that, that piece off. So I'm gonna put a fire blanket over that tire. Probably overkill, but that's what I'm doing. So as I'm cutting the stuff off, I'm thinking whenever I put a new channel in to make it flat, I might not put it in the same spot. So once I do a few and keep the dimensions of the trailer the way I want it, I might cut this bent angle out or uh, this bent channel out completely just to save weight. So I'm cutting these tabs off, but if I cut the entire channel out, then I'm doing double work. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I don't know if I'm gonna do that in the future. I might, but I'm not gonna just second guess myself and think I'm gonna do something if I don't. So I'm gonna cut these flush, or off, I'll cut the bolts at some point, get them out of here. And then later, if I decide to cut the channel that's existing off of this thing after I put a new channel in, then that's a waste of time. But you can't tell the future. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep doing this.